That's a beautiful, beautiful sailfish. Puerto Escondido is situated on the south coast of Mexico in the state of Oaxaca. Traditionally a small laid-back fishing village, in more recent years it became famous for its monster waves, earning the nickname the Mexican Pipeline. It's also home to a wide range of wildlife species and it didn't take me long to figure out that the local fishery was in pretty good shape. Sailfish, marlin, mahi-mahi, trevally and reef fish were plentiful here and I soon found a guide who could get me amongst the action. La Playa Principal, as the locals call it, is the main beach here in Puerto Escondido and it really is the heart of the fishing community. It's just on 7am, we're about to meet our fishing guide for the day. He's a young guy called Javier and hopefully he can get us onto some fish. Okay, so this is where the local fishermen come in each morning and sell their catches and this is also where Hubby gets his uh, fresh bait for uh, fishing for the day. With half a dozen baits in hand it was time to hit the water. The ocean conditions here are some of the most consistent I've seen anywhere in the world. You can almost fish every day. So this is a typical Mexican style fishing boat, it's called a panga boat. It's seven to eight meters long with a narrow beam and a 60 horsepower two stroke on the back. There's no electronics on the board so we've got no compass, no GPS, no fish finder and hopefully we've got life jackets. The panga style boats suit the sea conditions perfectly and have been used in Mexico for decades. I asked Javier to explain a little bit more about the baits that he uses. Hay tres tipos de carnada que se ocupan acá, acelín, cojotón y cocinero. Nosotros por lo regular que somos de la costa utilizamos más el cocinero, es el que más se da aquí. Mira, el cocinero lo cosamos de las trompas, de su trompita de qué? Para que cuando vaya en el agua no vaya dando vuelta. Pero aparte tenemos que cortarlo. Tenemos que, que quebrar su esqueleto. Es la carnada que utilizamos para, para el pez vela, dorado y marlin. Javier explained that this baiting technique had been used by both his father and his grandfather. I'm pretty sure the rods and reels were too. The first 30 minutes was quiet, but we were heading into a tide turn, so we were expecting a bite soon. Here we go, here we go. It's a hit. Yep, he's on, he's on, he's hooked up. It's a good sized fish, a lot of pressure on the line at the moment. Oh yeah. So there's another one near Javier's line. Must have gone through a school of sailfish. You notice the technique when they hook up, when they first strike, you let it run. Bit of extra power on the motor. And then strike hard. Get that hook set, the corner of the mouth. So one thing you notice on these boats is all the gear they're using is, is heavy gear. I haven't seen any light gear around Puerto Escondido yet. But it usually means one thing, that's big fish. No fancy rods and reels, it's old school, fiberglass rods, and just local fishing know-how. It's a sailfish, probably around that 30 kilo mark. Had the baits in the water for about 45 minutes. A pretty common species of sailfish in these parts. All year round they catch them. The peak season is usually in November. Yes. Woohoo!
It's a typical size sail from this area. 20, 25 kilos. Beautiful color fish. Pretty common species around here. And uh, you know, we would normally release a fish like this, but in the, this part of the world, you know, it goes a long way to feeding the family, paying for fuel for the boat. So it's a bit of a bittersweet moment for, you know, such a beautiful creature. Well done, hubby, yeah? It's a good catch, yeah. Perfecto. With a sailfish successfully on board, I was curious to know when hubby Air started fishing and who taught him. I started fishing when the first time was with my father. I was about 8 years old. Ocho años empezamos, venimos a un torneo, eh, nos tiraron pez velas, estuvimos eh, en la tabla, pero no, 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 no tuvimos tanta suerte que, que no quedamos. Pero mi padre todo el tiempo nos ha enseñado la pesca y de hecho de la pesca nunca, nunca terminas de aprender, siempre vas aprendiendo, aprendiendo, aprendiendo. Me tomé la decisión de, de volverme pescador, ¿por qué? Una, me llama mucho la atención la pesca. Prácticamente es mi pasión. I also asked what factors they take into consideration when determining where the fish are. Mira, por lo regular nosotros nos basamos más al tipo de, de corriente, cómo está la corriente y cómo en tipo de la pajarada. Vemos muchos pájaros, ahí hay comerío, hay animal grande como el pez vela, el marlin. Para pescar aquí nosotros tenemos el mes más bueno, es en noviembre, la pesca está perfecto, mucho pescado, mucho pez vela. Eh, es grandioso porque 5 o 10 minutos van pasando y uh, uh, empieza a sonar. It had now been quite a while between bites and I was beginning to wonder if we'd missed the bite window. Javier has seen a fish in the water. It's a little tap, tap, tap on the line here. Playing that game of patience. Yep. See, we're on. Yes! Oh. Yes! He's hooked. Oh. We saw another boat in the area hook up few minutes ago and they lost a fish and then literally literally within a few minutes we've hooked up this is a good sized fish oh I'm not making any gains on this fish at the moment it's amazing how much this this gear puts up with you know the serious pressure I mean this this reel is probably 20 years old and uh, still working, probably like it was when it was bought. Javier texted us yesterday and said uh, there's a few fish biting and we should get out here. They always take the advice of the locals. I know when the fish are on. What an unbelievable sight seeing these beautiful sailfish come up to the surface in this pristine ocean. I never imagined myself catching sailfish in the south of Mexico. This is always the hard part when you get it close to the boat. Bite this fish, it's still got a hook in it somewhere. So it's dangerous. Wow, what a magnificent creature. That's a beautiful, beautiful sailfish. It's a bit bigger than the one earlier. Oh, look at that, so much power, streamlined like a torpedo in the water. It's pretty much a hunting machine. And uh, as I said before, prolific in these waters. Well done, Javier. Perfecto, muchas gracias, great catch. I was happy to hear that this fish was being released and only one was being kept for a feed. So two sailfish on board in a session is a great result anywhere in the world. And it's just that little bit more special when you can do it in a place like Puerto Escondido in Mexico. Muchas gracias, Javier. Gracias. It's a pleasure fishing with you and I'm sure I'll see you again in the future. Ciao, gracias. 
Javier explained that they have a great fishery because they do not allow commercial fishing in their area. If boats enter, they suffer serious consequences. He also told me that for a few bucks, you never have to fill out a fish again. It just wouldn't be Mexico without a musician nearby, and when this local showed up, I knew lunch was going to get entertaining. I stayed in Puerto Escondido for five months enjoying multiple fishing adventures from both land and sea. The Mexican coastline is definitely an exciting and diverse fishery.